Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sea. That looks unpleasant. I'm gonna try and stay clear of that. We discover the Iron Republic. That's good. That looks like it might be rocks under the uh, surface. Let's try and avoid them. These guys at least look like they might have plenty of fuel. What exactly are you? Unfinished revolutionaries. Okay, they've got 210 health, but we can probably take them. Particularly as their ship appears to be all powered. Oh, God. That thing actually hit. Okay, it hits for a bit of damage. It's not great, but it's not awful. We need to stay on that flank, though. Damn it. Keep clear of their lines of fire. No. I'm going to lose this fight, aren't I? I'm predicting it now. Going to take a bit more luck than skill to survive this, I think. Okay. okay, come on, come on. Stay on the tail, stay on the tail. No friendly nudge. Ah! No, on the tail, damn it. Nope. Stay here, they'll have a difficult time getting a target lock on us. Good. We tried for a shot before they actually had a proper lock and they wasted it. Buy us time. It's a pity we can't really see where their firing lines are, but take an educated guess about it. Come on, come on, come on. Fire. Okay, couple more good hits. Okay, one more clean hit, and I think that's probably victory. Slow us down, bring us in tight, and fire. <sighs> Nicely done. Okay, let's loot them. What treasure did these villains take? A cache of curiosities. Let's open it up. Four supplies. Well, that was kind of not really worth it. Given that uh, it was enough to knock my hull below half, which means I'm going to have to uh, put in for some official repairs, which are probably going to cost a bunch of money I don't have. Oh, and a crewman died, by the look of it. Okay, let's dock here at the Iron Republic. Okay, factory enter to roll like false lines. Need 70 terror, bloody hell. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. My lady, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Substantially increases iron. 20 echo, though. 50 echo to, uh, to get our sailors some time off work. <laughs> Compile a port report. This won't be entirely straightforward. The streets won't lie straight and the ink freezes whenever you look away from the inkwell. Okay, so let's compile a port report. And we now have a tale of terror. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. But it's a hatred for fountains. Here's an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. And now you're awash with nostalgia for the hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. And perhaps you'll be rid of it. I'm quite tempted to get that cannoneer. It's 20 bucks, though. Hmm. Market of hungers. The Parliament of Flies. Thunder Tittering Artificious Project. Forward mounted weapon with unusual characteristics. Ooh.
which requires 12 devil bone dice and 7 stygian ivory and a secret. Okay, so let's go to the Mark of Hungers. So we've gained a Fragment and gained a Terror. This place is clearly a bit creepy. Okay, let's hire on that Cannoneer. We need a Gunner. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Oh, wait, let me make notes. Paper? Okay, so we've gained an Irrescible Cannoneer. Iron plus 8. Gunnery off, I'm assuming I can't. No. Okay, so let's visit the shops. The House of Pleasures. The flies will caress you with their wings. Hurry up and purchase something. So we could buy some illicit romantic literature. Well, we, could. we could. Sell. Okay, so that's stuff we can sell but couldn't buy. Judgment's Egg. This is a soul. It's pale and bright and souls like this and their spores are strange gods. So yeah, there's not much to get here, unfortunately, and we're running low on bloody uh, fuel again. Still, we've got a couple of secrets. We've got a tale of terror. We've got a port report. Let's go there again, but that didn't achieve much. Okay, we're going to have to hightail it back home, I think. Because our fuel situation is completely buggered. Because, of course, we can't afford any fuel. We never afford fuel, because fuel is hideously expensive. I mean, good God. Let's make for home. If we can get these port reports back to London then we might just make it. And we've got decent supplies and I know that we can uh, ditch you know, we can sometimes trade supplies for uh, fuel you know, in case of an emergency. It's not a guaranteed success but might work. Somebody over there with a honking powerful light Ah, oh, hell. I don't have the hull strength to fight something. And I don't have the fuel to do it either. Oh, God. Okay, thankfully they don't see... No. Oh. oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus, that was close. I really need rear-mounted weapons so I can shoot at stuff while I'm running like a little girl. Okay, slight course adjustments when they charge. Let me avoid them, but... Yikes. Yes, I know. Running low on fuel for desperate measures. Okay, matter of luck could go either way. Search your supplies for something useful. Stone is the kindest of the gods of the sea, but that's not saying very much. She has a great wound from which a river flows blood. Wound yourself in memory of her and perhaps she'll show mercy. Okay, let's try that. Your ship's doctor bandages the wound efficiently, and you pace the deck and ignore the pain as best you can. Your engineer approaches. Captain, there's more fuel in the bins than I realized. Just a little. I'd looked three times, but I'm sure it wasn't there before, but now might be enough. So I've gained a wound and I die it with three wounds. Okay. Hopefully that'll uh, heal over time. God, those things are annoying. Still, we've got a bit more fuel. And if we're lucky, it should be enough to get us to London. If we can avoid getting killed by goddamn jellyfish first. Okay, they've submerged. Does that mean they're buggering off? That'd be nice. Come on, go away, you pesky fish. A 
It's not letting me call the all clear yet. Now, oh, bloody hell. I am aware of the fact that the fuel situation is very, very bad. Hopefully that thing won't come too close to London. So yes, I think that bit of self-sacrifice was worth it because it got us home. Just. Pressing the HQ will blow your horn. This has no useful function and may prove to evoke nearby beasts or hostile vessels. Yeah, let's not do that then. Okay, sound the all clear. Bring us in. Offer of assistance. Ahoy, cap. I had a fuel, are we? That was unwise. Paid the tone for 100 echoes. <laughs> Piss off. Thank you. I have made it to uh, port. Granted, it was insanely close. Uh, we have nothing to hide. So you can absolutely search our ship. So we've lost a little bit of suspicion. Because they found nothing more dangerous than a moldy ship's biscuit. Uh, let's go collect messages from the harbour master. Blind bruiser would like a word. Something's changed in the neath. Someone wants to sign on. Okay. Good evening, my lady. And what a marvellous evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. Given that it's my impression you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo if you happen to be in the area. The cheery man will, of course, cover your expenses for the trifling inconvenience. Except it, it is, after all, a trifling inconvenience. Yeah, we need the fuel. <laughs> you have agreed to smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. They now have an unstamped crate of brilliant souls. Oh dear. Generally somewhere northeast of London. If you would be so kind to deliver this gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, they will see we get to hear about it. When you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bon voyage, as my aunt who was French by birth, if not by inclination, used to say. Okay then, so... An urchin tugs on your sleeve. I have need for a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask how you came by these things. Okay, so what do you need? Something perilous. Don't have a bunch of devil one dice. Don't have any outlandish artifacts. Can't do anything there. <laughs> a visit to the tattoo parlor. The Dauntless Hand. This will increase your iron by two permanently and cure up to 25 points of terror. Only good if you have a tale of terror. Hmm. Only costs a buck, but at the same time I've only got nine bucks in the world. You have no ink need of ink or needles, and your skin is your own, and so is your destiny. Okay. Scholar have anything? Okay, memory of distant shores. As the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining or, well, his blazing eyes. They overflow, splashing on the desk clotter. Stop! He, she, sobs at last. This is too beautiful. Allow me to bring the mad core of memories. I wish each individual tone recalled. So my favours antiquarian is increasing, and I've gained ten bucks. Ten bucks. Not even enough for one fuel. Bloody hell. Oh, let's visit the Admiralty. Hunter's Keep. They. We now have an extra fuel. And five echo. Okay. The Iron Republic. Excuse me. I need to unlock this and this and... Whoops. <laughs> this. Could you place your report inside? Yes, I imagine someone will read it eventually. There's, there's always someone. Okay, and a fuel. And ten echo. Wait, this is blank. Yes, both sides. No, 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 I assume. No, I know these things happen in the Republic. Consider this an extra gratia payment to cover your costs. Okay, we've turned in at least three port reports now, so can we speak to the Admiral? Survey three ports and return to win the Admiralty's approval. 
typical. Nothing else for them. Oh god. Okay, the hull's buggered, so we could probably do with who potentially awaits them. Engage an officer. The car nearly in exile. First officer increases mirrors and pages, but I can't afford him. Tireless mechanic. He's chief engineer, I assume. Veils and fuel. Increasing fuel efficiency would be shockingly useful. But, you know, can't afford them. Go to the lodgings. So, that gets us some recent news. Rest in the room above the blind helmsman. Heal a wound to give you a restful night, but I'm not scared, so that's okay. Purchase an elegant townhouse for a thousand bucks. Jesus Christ. Consider retirement. For which I would need either an elegant townhouse or a Z-side mansion. Back to the rest of the city. Yeah. Okay, should we cruise the docks or is that too pricey? Hmm. So we want to be heading somewhere sort of northeastish. Okay. dream and a scheme. He has a plan. So yeah, that's supposed to be not far from the home waters. Almost safe. Okay. Okay, so apparently a bandaged poisoner at Vendabite seeks passage with a Z captain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have to go where he wants me to. So Mount Palmston, which is supposedly usually to the northeast. Okay, fuel's only ten bucks here. So we're gonna have to buy three. For every two supplies I sell, I could get a, f I could get a fuel. Maybe, but I still need to visit the shipyard. Yeah. How do I actually repair my bloody ship? Okay, so is there anything I can... S I don't think there's a single damn thing I can sell that I don't need. No, there isn't. Typical. So they'd buy a crate of human souls. That is just kind of terrifying. Or is that just me? Okay, with not enough f not enough fuel, barely enough uh, hull. Seriously, how do I uh, repair my hull? Put your ship in dry dock for repairs. Okay. Is it the Admiralty fuel stores? requires four points of Admiralty favour and I've got two. That would be quite handy. But, uh, 75 Echo. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford to repair the ship at all. A matter of luck with pretty good odds. Trade them some supplies. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, this is risky. 
But they've done a decent job. Rats sweep over your ship like tide, and day and night their tiny tools click. Your crew step over them cautiously, and unfortunately some complex rat vendetta is at play here. Warring rat families decide to use your ship as a battleground. They're quite well behaved about it, and the damage is minimal, but an unfortunate passing sailor gets a rat bullet through the eye and drowns in the Thames. You protest, but the contract is clear. There is an exception for ocular perturbations. So I've lost a crew member and lost five supplies. Bloody hell! Jesus Christ. Well, I'm now broke as all hell and I can't afford any more supplies. We're all going to starve at sea, gentlemen. I hope you're looking forward to that. This game is very, very, very unforgiving, isn't it? I get that that's kind of part of the point, but... Uh, Jesus. Better call on the sisters again, see if I can blag some food out of them. I've got some recent news to trade them, at the very least. At least I'm getting good enough at ship driving that I can get through there without banging something. Let's go to Hunter's Keep. News, news. Even when the sisters aren't feeling sociable, they can be tempted out of their lair by the smell of new stories. No longer have any. You ask the sulfur I'd made to carry a few hints of your news to the sisters. Not only if she comes back with messages that their headaches are cured, and that you're invited to lunch. Uh, let's lunch in with Phoebe, I think. Here's a story. Phoebe has a story to tell, of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages of a fragment of the moon, and she beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a song that only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic, and your attention drifts out, through the skylight of the dining room, with the false stars glittering in the roof of the cabin. You drift like a puffball spore, and the undersea shimmers below, islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet, and ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spinning things pulse in the depths, and there is a scent, like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly, and everything changed. And somewhere in there, you finish the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly served cheese and bath all of her biscuits. So we've lost our hunger. Okay, and we've gained Storm's attention. We've gained nope, no new fragments. Lost a memory of distant gained a memory of distant shores. And gained a supplies. Okay. Back into other cliffs. And we've got another port port, okay. So Fuel situation not good, supply situation not good. Let's head off in this direction and explore the Z. I think we're probably going to run out of fuel, by the way, guys. Or supplies, I'm not sure which will run out first at this point. What the hell is that? A swarm of bats. Yeah, of course they're unfriendly. Down the all clear. There's succulent with stolen blood into the pot. In they go. Gain, gain terror, but also gain supplies. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I'm gonna afford a little bit of terror in exchange for those supplies. Bring the speed back up, please, Mr. Well, I don't have a first officer, so it's got to be my genial magician, who is currently our chief engineer. That looks like a place. So the no, I think that's the edge of Vendebrite. No, nope. Tarchuk. Can we dock there? No, nope, don't think so. But we're still kind of skirting the edge of Vendebrite there. So instead, let's head this way and launch the Z-Bat. See if I can see anything. Let's 
salt lines is some distance to the east. Okay, target up bat swarm. Accelerate to speed. Need the supplies. Here they come. Fight! Bloody hell. Five damage to the hull from some bats. Target them. Oh god, the hull's taking a battering. Gonna end up having to stop and repair the bloody hull. Oh god, now there's a bloody crap. In the to the pot they go. Screw the terror level. We need to live, damn it. God. God. It's the fact those things can turn on an absolute dime. So yeah, we're burning through all our fuel, fighting bloody crabs. Supplies, damn it. Okay, let's get us away from those bats. We're heading out east. Launch the Z-Bat. Excellent, we have a port. Salt lines. Isn't the salt lines where I'm meant to be... ...dropping off those souls? I can't remember. Two Balsic Beasts, cathedral sized. They frown eternally at each other across the black waves. And the north one carries an encampment. Creeping human figures eat away at its features like po like rot. Pick, pick, picking. There's a supply dock below. Visit the unmakers. Muscular pick wielders rest on camp stools, watching your approach, passing hip flasks around. An unctuous overseer beckons you to sit. Okay, so that should get us. Gained a fragment. We got funding from the bazaar, it's true, but Station 4? I wouldn't call it Station 4, it's a little grandiose. The stones are stuffed with secrets, but most of them are used as garden statuary or occult baths that... Most of them. Some go down to places under the bazaar. More tea cakes? Carry some Sphinx stone to London. Which would need 200 echo. Bloody hell. Compile a port report. Shops available. Fuel situation is all kinds of buggered. The hull is all kinds of buggered. Okay, let's risk the last few supplies. We were unlucky. Okay, so could we kill a crew member? I'm already wounded. I don't have the affection of salt. Got plenty of secrets though. Looks like we're making a sacrifice to stone. Your wound the wound is impossibly hard to staunch and your ship's dock diffuses with bandages. The deck is awash and your vision becomes cloudy at the corners. And through a roaring buzz in your ears, you see the puzzled Dr. Hull of Diamond Splinter. This came from the wound. Thanks, Stone. Your wounds are mortal. You now have an outlandish artifact and you've lost three supplies. Ah. Uh, well, we're dead. You will be mourned. Choose a legacy to, prefer to preserve something for your next captain. 
You will now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman, and a second captain has been lost to the Undersea. Well, that's probably a pretty good point to end uh, this. So yes, I haven't unlocked the pupil salvager shipmate or correspondent. So where is rival? Which means we at least keep our main gun. Just didn't get anything there. So let's accept the legacy. So I don't think I... No, I can't change that. Still. Yep. Right, well, that feels like a pretty good point to end this part, given that I just died again. So, I will say, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.